Hello, hello, friends. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Hallelujah. I'm so glad to be here with you. My name is Pastor Anne-Marie Sejour. Welcome, welcome to the Daily Rhema Word of God. I just praise God for you. I thank God you are, you are here. If he leads you here, guess what? He has a word for you. We just bless him because today is the day he made and we rejoice in it and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. I am so glad. I'm so happy to be here with you. So before I get started, let us uh, invite the Lord into the session so for him to do what only him can do hallelujah father God we just bless your name we glorify you we magnify you right now father God we're giving you glory and honor I thank you father God for your mercy for your grace for your compassion you are holy and righteous you are so faithful to us Lord God we just praise your name right now, Father God. We exalt your name, Father God, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we invite you into this session. I ask, Holy Father, that you take over. Let every word that come out of my mouth is your word. I make myself scared right now, Father God. And I ask that you be visible to those who are watching right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you will give them ear to hear what your spirit is saying to them in the name of Jesus. Open their heart, Father God, so that they may receive everything you're going to tell them. And let everything you said, Father God, fall into good ground so that it may bear fruit that will remain in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you are doing right now. For touching their heart and open it. Open their eyes, Lord God, so that they may see in the Spirit. Thank you, Father God. We just praise your name. We thank you and we glorify you. Thank you for using my mouth, Lord God, to speak to your people. We just praise you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, amen and amen. I hope everybody's doing awesome today because you know what? You wake up today, it is a gift from God. I'm always going to say that. It is a gift from the Lord that you wake up today, okay? So not many people wake up today or those who wait, who wake up, I'm telling you, it's just like, oh, it's so bad. Okay, but somehow you out there, you doing your thing, you, you know, and God is protecting you. It is a gift. It's not because you better than anybody else who did not wake up today. It is a gift from the Lord. That's why we must all never take every day that he gave us. We must never take them for granted. All right. Always say thank you to him. Always acknowledging him because you know what? You did not just wake up on your own. So we just bless his name. So I hope you have been doing uh, awesome in the Lord. I hope you have been uh, 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 decreeing the word of God uh, in your life, you know, over your situation. I hope, I, I hope that you've been spending time with him, reading his word and, you know, and I, I, I thank God for the work that he is doing in you. Hallelujah. Before I get started, I wanted to, um, update something. When I first started, um, I said that I'm going to, I was going to upload a video every day. Okay, that's my that that's me. That's the way I wanted to do it. But as I go through it, guess what? The Lord is showing me it's not. I'm not gonna be able to do it that way. You know, um, because to to do it, it, you know, you I gotta get prepared. I gotta get with the Lord. You know, and everything. And ask Him, okay, why do you want me to bless your people with? So, and the thing is, I don't want it to become a a, a burden. Because that means I'm going to start getting frustrated. The enemy, of course, frustration, of course, does not come from the Lord. And now I'm going to say, oh, man, I, I don't think that that's the Lord wanted me to do it. You see what I'm saying? So we have to be vigilant. 
okay we have to be aware of the enemy's device you know what he's using against us you see what i'm saying so the last video I put up, I had a headache. I was I was busy throughout the day, and I'm like, okay, I need to keep up my word, and I try to pull up that video right away, and 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 you know, it just it was ooh too much, okay. So and I'm like, okay, I I, I can see what's what's going on. So now he wants me to upload a video every other day. Okay, that means, you know, I'm going to, after I upload this, to, you know, and I'm going to take tomorrow off to get prepared and refresh, okay, and then come back again, okay, so that way, you know, I, I'm able to do what he wants me to do on here, you know, make myself available for him to use me the way he pleases, so so this is how it's going to happen from this day going forward until he does something else. So I'm always going to keep you updated on what the Lord is doing. Okay. All right. So, and those of you who joined for the first time and my name again is Pastor Anne-Marie. I'm a pastor teacher. I like to teach, the, you know, that's where the Lord anointed me, you know, I really love to teach the word of God. I could go on and on and on. I mean, I'm telling you. So I had to catch myself sometimes. So, um, and that's why he's leading me to do. He wants me to get on up here and, you know, do, do what he does, you know, and I, I just let him use me freely. And if you watching for the first time, I'm a type of person who, um, like to let the Holy Spirit take over. Okay, when I get up here, I can prepare myself to death, you know, like get things in order and things are the next and I know he turned things all the way around because you know what, this channel is his channel. It's not my channel. I have nothing to do with it. Okay, so he's his channel. Therefore, he's going to run it however he please. I'm just the vehicle that he's using to do what he wants to do to minister to you, to talk to you. All right, so that means I don't limit the Holy Spirit. I let him do what he does, okay? So, therefore, having said that, we're going to get started, okay? Um, well, I mean, we call, um, I call this channel, we call this channel, I would like to say we because it's not my work, okay? The Holy Spirit, you know, the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, you know, and he includes me, the daily Rema word of God, because I truly believe when I get up here, I get those things from him. I get those things from him, however he leads me. So he just got me in here to encourage you and, 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 and help you to keep moving forward. Because I'm telling you, the journey is long. The journey is hard. And sometimes we, we, we just need some, you know, to refresh and that's why he does a, a word of encouragement gonna will refresh the soul and help us keep on moving forward okay so having said that we're going to um to get started let's jump right in okay so today you know i like to uh call um uh, the the what we're gonna talk about um what are you creating it's a question Think about what are you creating? I'm not talking about you constructing something, you know. What are you creating with your mouth? What are you creating with, 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 uh, what are you prophesying? Okay. Because when we speak, we create things. When we, when we prophesy, it, it, we release it in the air. Guess what? It's going to come to happen. It will happen. And then the, the word of God said, uh, death, uh, death in life, it's in the power of the tongue. So those who love it will eat of it. So therefore, when we speak things, we create things. And when we create it, it, it comes to pass. And then we reap the, the benefit, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Okay, so therefore, what are you creating? What 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 are you prophesying over your marriage, your 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 children, your 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 job, your school? I mean, your life. What are you 
creating. So having said that, let that question pound it in your heart, in your mind. Okay, start thinking about it as we go through this. And um, you know, and um, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit what I mean by by that. Okay, so let's look at the scripture. Okay, in Genesis one verses twenty six to twenty seven, it says. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish, the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky, over the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creature that moves along the ground. So God created men in his own image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Okay? So what I want to focus on is the word create. Okay? Is the word create. Okay, most of us are, of course, we're familiar with, with, with the book of Genesis, you know, the first chapter, it talks about, you know, God created the world, he spoke things out, he, he said, let there be light, and then he comes light, let the, the moon, the stars, the everything you see, God spoke it, okay, God spoke it, and there it was, okay, so, and God spoke them into existence. So whatever the Elohim, God, spoke, there it was. So the word create, in Greek, it, uh, in Greek it's tizo, K-T-I-Z-O. It means to build, to create, okay? To create is to bring something into existence, that's what create is to bring something into existence okay and and us we need uh, we need a substance we need something to create something else okay to produce it to produce it we gotta take it out of something but god didn't need anything to create the world because it says in the beginning of the chapter the world was void there was nothing whatsoever in this world and then he 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 create this he called everything into existence okay um okay um definition of create you know i um it says to 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 produce to design to make to build to construct that's the that, that's the definition of uh, to create something okay to cause something to happen as a result of one action okay and and um we can um like i said before god made this whole thing the whole earth out of nothing okay so remember like um uh, remember in isaiah 55 verse 10 to 11 let me tell you this you're always gonna hear that verse from me Okay, I love that verse. The reason why I love them is because it's, it, it, I don't know, it, it pumps up something. It, it gives me confidence knowing that God says something and he said, what I said cannot come back to me void. He has to do what I sent it to do. That's why I'm always using that word. And that's why when I'm praying, I keep that in mind, knowing what I'm praying, I'm decreeing God's word and it has to happen. Okay, and Isaiah Isaiah 45 verse 23 it says it says that God sworn by himself everything that come out of his righteous mouth cannot return cannot return to him I mean this is I mean when we, when I think of this I'm mean, like man it pushes me to decree the word of God because God is not a liar. He can't lie. He, it's impossible for God to lie. Okay. And then he said, if I say something, trust me, it's going to happen. So that means to me, when I decree God's word, it is his word. When I release it in the atmosphere, it has to accomplish. It creates something because I'm releasing it. I'm speaking it. I'm prophesying. And therefore, 
what I spoke it, the word of God has to birth what it says it will do. So when you decree the word of God over your situations, whatever the, the situation has to turn around, it has to turn around. But the only thing you got to believe it. Okay. I mean, that, that, those things, these, these words, they pumped up my faith. They pumped up my confidence. I'm so confident when I'm praying, I'm decreeing the word of God. Oh man, I know it's coming. I may not see it right away. I may not see it now, but I know it's coming because this is what faith is all about, right? Faith is to believe on something that you have not seen, but yet you know it's coming, right? So therefore, that's why I have such confidence in the word of God because he sworn on himself and he said, my word just cannot return back to me. So therefore, when I decree it, it has to do something. This is why you always going to hear this verse from me. It needs to register. You got to register. Okay. And so to start building your faith, okay, to start, you know, acting like the child of God and know what you're doing and be confident. Okay. Okay. So let's Let's move on you know <laughs> let's move on so this is why you're always gonna hear this verse from me okay so um i have this here from in genesis 1 to 25 god elohim spoke everything in for five days he spoke everything you see the bird the the fish the sea the the stars the everything okay but kept cre um god uh kept creating by speaking in and there it was. He creates that. He creates everything. He creates the world by speaking it. Okay. You know, you know, when the Lord gave me this, he gave it to me a while back. Okay. And, um, I asked him a question. I was, I asked him while I was sitting there, he was telling me these things. And I asked him, I said, God, father, how come you did not speak us out? You know what he said to me? I did not speak you out because I wanted to be involved. You know, that is so profound. I mean, I would have, oh, wow. Okay, I see. Because God wanted to get involved, meaning when you involve on something, you put your hands on it. You, you hands on, you know, you, you, you doing this, you doing that. Okay. But when he was creating the world, yeah, he just spoke it out. He was involved, but not as involved, but he was just speaking things out. But when it comes to you, to me, to everyone else, he got involved. He put his hand on it. Okay? So we're going to, we see that in, you know, in uh, Genesis, okay, 1, 26, 27, you know, uh, you, you, uh, we read what he did, right? He was having a conversation between themselves. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, he said, let us make mankind in our image. Okay? So he was having a discussion about what he was going to do. Okay? <laughs> about you and me. Okay? He was having a discussion. So he wasn't having a discussion when he had to speak things out. But yet when he comes to you after he created everything, he was having a discussion. Okay? Let us do this. So he spoke it, he prophesied, and then he's about to make it happen. So now, of course, we read in Genesis, Genesis uh, 2, 4 to 6. He says, and the account in the heavens and the earth, when they, were, when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, before any plains in the field was in the earth, and before any herd, and in the field of the field had grown for the Lord God has made uh, had not caused it to rain on the earth and there was no man to tilt the ground but a mist went up from the ground from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground okay so now before any of this happened okay God created it he made sure the, uh, the 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 everything's taking place. The the water went through and watered the earth and and everything is getting ready. He's getting ready 
to 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 bring men into into the picture okay and then so he made all that happen the you know it rang and everything it saw your things is it's it's bearing fruit and everything okay because you know he didn't do any of those things before he created men because there were no men to tilt the ground meaning to work the ground to be a steward of the things that he made and then that's when he go into discussion, okay, this is what we're going to do. And then he did it, okay? He did it, and we already read about it in Genesis 1, 1 to 7. And then he says what? Uh, 1, 26, 27, okay? And then in Genesis 2, 2, 7, he says, Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust, of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life and the man became a living being okay then god formed formed don't say create formed a man okay so now let's look what the word form mean remember i said the Lord told me the reason why he didn't speak us out is because he wanted to get involved. Okay? He wanted to get involved. So that means it's a process. It was a process as a matter of fact. Okay? It was a process. First, he discussed it. He prophesied. This is what we're going to do. And then he, he, he did it. And then he made it happen. So we read that on Gen you know, Genesis 2. Uh, to seven what he did okay so in the process notice that there was a process it is it was a process god elohim for men okay he did not speak men he did not say adam or you know men come come forth no he did not he he there was a process that take place he formed the ground from the dust of the ground that means the dirt and then he you 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 seen children work uh, doing doing play doh stuff okay so now he formed it he formed adam he did all these things the features the everything and then after that he make him a living being okay that was a process he formed the word form in greek mean morphe m o r p h e okay it means to shape so God take the dust, okay, the mud, and then he formed it. He shaped it into a human being, okay? So the definition for form means um, the, uh, the visible shape or configuration of something. So the Lord formed you and I. He did not create, he did not speak us, but he formed, he got involved, he put his hand, he wanted to put his mark upon you. Let me tell you something. If you're going to um, release something out there, a product or anything, before you put your name on it, you're going to make sure it's done right. You're not just going to put your name on things. Your friends are going to say, oh, man, let's let's do this. You know, well, let, let's be a partner and, and sell this and sell that. You want to make sure this product is good. You want to make sure, okay, everything works well because you're putting your name at risk. You're endorsing it, okay? So, therefore, especially if you're a popular person, Okay, you know, you don't see the stars and, and, and you know, those popular people who's endorsing things. They make sure that thing works. They ain't just not going to put their name on it. You know why? Because they have a reputation to keep. So, therefore, God, same way, he's going to create men. He makes sure he got involved in the process with his own hand. Okay, so now to make sure. That's why it says at the end of the chapter, he said he looked at everything he made and he said it was good. It was good. Okay, so therefore God was involved in creating us. How do we get into this earth? It was a process. The process started with your mother and your father, right? Okay, so we know we know how a human being come into this world. No human being just pop out in, in, in thin air. There was no 
thunder or lightning and boof, there you were. No, there was a process that took place. And that's your mom and your dad, they get together and then the process begin and then you enter this earth realm. Okay, nobody entered this earth realm without that process. Okay, we all have that in common. Okay, we know someone who entered, who, who came into this world uh, 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 illegally, Satan. He was cast out. He was cast out of heaven, and then he come down. And he he was illegal because he did not enter through the process. But we know there is one man that also entered the world through that process, Jesus Christ. That's how Jesus was able to destroy the works of the enemy because he's legal, right? Because if Jesus was did not come the way he came through that process to go through the wounds and then birth and grew up here and everything, he was not going to be able to destroy the works of the enemy. You know why? Because he would have come here the same way he did, illegal. Because you cannot enter the earth realm illegally. You cannot enter the earth realm no other way but through birth. Flesh and blood through birth. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, that's how our Lord Jesus conquer defeated satan okay because imagine that can a thief tell a thief or oh, stop stealing oh i'm gonna i'm gonna put an end to you i'm gonna make sure those things you stole i'm gonna return them back but you are a thief you see what i'm saying can a thief say that to another thief? no you can't because hey we're doing the same thing both of us are doing illegal things so therefore who are you to stop me you understand what i'm saying so therefore you just have to come in through that process in order to defeat what to restore everything that the enemy did or the damage that he did okay so having said all this okay having said all this the Lord formed you. The Lord got involved in your life. He got involved in the very minute that he, he led your mom and your dad to get together. He got involved in the process. That's what he told me. He told me, I did not speak you out because I wanted to get involved in the process. I wanted my hand to be upon you. You see what I'm saying? So this is why God did not speak you out. This is why we made a little higher than the angels. This is why we have dominion. He gave us dominion, you know, over everything he created. Okay, yes, we lost that dominion. We don't practice that authority. We don't walk in that authority. But the Lord gave it to us. Okay, he gave it to us. This is why we able to say things and it shall happen because we made, we were formed, we were made in the image of God. So when you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, guess what? He lives in there. And there, therefore, when you speak, you are, pro when you are creating things, you are prophesying things. If you are doing that, you, you when we speak, we're creating, we're prophesying, and guess what you're doing? It's going to create things, it's going to give birth to things, and then we're going to reap the consequences. Whether it's good, whether it's bad. Remember that, okay? Remember that. So we also know the Lord prophesied Genesis 3, 15, you know, after Adam fall, of course, he listened to the enemy. He fall, he lost his authority. And then, you know, uh, God the Father uh, prophesied, this is what I'm going to do regarding his son that he sent later on, you know, to, 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 to come and restore everything that the enemy had stolen from, from us. So, having said that, why he wanted me to talk about this? Think about what you talk, what you creating. To think about what we creating. I'm sorry. To think about what we creating. Because, look what's going on. Take a step back. Look at your life right now. What are you going through right now? 
what's going on in your life right now. And then now begin to ask the Holy Spirit, have I creating these things? Excuse me, have I spoken these things? Is, you know, start asking the Holy Spirit that because he says that we have power in this mouth. Everything you speak, you're creating something. So therefore, we can create what we want life to be. We can prophesy what we want life to be, isn't it? You can make things happen according to the way to the will of God, right? It has to be according to the will of God. So now when we're doing the opposite, when we're speaking the wrong things, we're still reaping, we're reaping a result, right? It may not be, it may not be good. We don't want the good. Who wants the I mean sorry, excuse me, we don't want the bad. We don't want the bad. Who wants the bad? Who wants to speak things that, oh, you know, the opposite good to happen in your life? Nobody. But we do it. You, you would not realize how much we are creating things throughout the day. We're doing it. So this is what the Lord wants you to think about. Okay? So now that you're thinking about it, now that you're taking a step back, pause for a minute and ask the Lord. Start asking the Holy Spirit, what is it in my life that I'm going through now that my words created it? My words. Remember, and and uh, the the children of uh, uh, the children of is the the Israelites. God condemned them by what came out of their mouth when it was time to enter the the promised land. That's in the book of Number. He said, "I will do exactly what you create with what you spoke. I'm going to judge you." I'm going to 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 punish you exactly what you spoke. To be honest, to me, God didn't punish them. They're the one who spoke it out because we made of the image of the Lord, right? If we made of the image of God, we have the resurrecting power in us. Jesus is in us, okay? And he said, you have the power to create things, whether it's good or bad. And then by that same mouth, what you said, I, I'm going to make it happen. What you release in the air, it has to happen. So now God did not punish them. He judged them according to what they said because they kept saying the same thing. And then before he judged them, he told them, 10 times you have tempted me. So that means when we're creating things, God is writing it down. And then you know what? He's going to say, you know what? Go ahead. That's what you want. That's what you're going to get. And that's how they end up wandering around the, 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 the desert for 40 years. Because their mouth was creating, was prophesying the wrong thing. Because when we're doing that, we're telling God, I don't trust you. I don't know you. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Why you destroying you? I mean, go read the book of, of Exodus. I mean, throughout all the way, you see those people, how they complained. They were ingrate. No matter what God did, no matter how God act, they, 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 it wasn't enough for them. Okay, so therefore the Lord have to put his foot down. Yes, God is passionate. God is his long suffering. God loves us. But I'm telling you, he will put his foot down if you don't stop doing something he kept telling you not to do. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, that's why he want us to really pay attention to what we're creating. The enemy will come and shoot thoughts in your mouth, in your mind, and then you you agree with him by prophesying, by speaking it out, and the next thing you know what you spoke happened because you give birth, it's going to get, it's going to be birthed. 
Okay, because you you release it, you 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 send it out in the air, and then now it has to produce what you spoke it. So whether it's good or bad. So if your marriage is it's going wrong right now, your children is acting up. You know you can't keep a job. You can't seem to learn anything. I mean you just life is just miserable. You know you getting sick all the time. S stop for a minute. And then start asking the Holy Spirit. Now, I want you to do that now. Start asking the Holy Spirit, what have I been creating? What have I been prophesying? And ask him to start bringing into your remembrance the, those things. Okay? So having said that, take a minute to yourself. Start thinking. Start asking the Holy Spirit. When I come back, we're going to pray. Because that's what he wants me to do. Okay, Be, he wanted me to talk to you about this and then he gave me a prayer to pray. So we're going to pray that. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Start thinking, start asking the Holy Spirit, start praying and ask the Holy Spirit to, to, to show you the things that you have been creating in your life. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Bye bye.